So recently, Apple just finished up their third and final keynote of 2020, announcing their final devices and hardware advancements of the year. This has been a huge year for Apple. In spite of a global pandemic, Apple has released the iPhone 12, 12 Pro, 12 Max, 12 Mini, the Apple HomePod Mini, the Apple Watch SE, and the Apple Watch Series 6, the iPad Air, and the iPad 8th generation. All these new devices have been announced in the past three months, not to mention the announced devices in late 2019. Their most recent keynote, however, closed out 2020 with one more thing. The Apple M1 chip is a huge step in the right direction for Apple. This new chip boasts an eight core processor, 16 billion transistors, and a fully integrated design, making it the most efficient Apple has ever produced. What does this mean for you as students though? Well, the 13-inch MacBook Air is one of the most popular laptops for college students. Its student-specific price of $899, along with its specs and reliability, make it a fantastic option for college and the workforce. And since the M1 chip is not going away anytime soon, this does not apply for just seniors. Most likely, when you start looking at computers for college, the MacBook Air with the M1 chip is going to be high on that list for you, no matter what grade you're currently in. But why do you care about the M1 chip? Well, because of its performance and processing power, it's the most efficient and responsive Apple has ever produced, meaning that you will be able to perform tasks, stream video, video call, and everything else you would need to, a computer to do all day without having to sit next to a charging plug in class. Just take a look at these benchmarks comparing the next gen Macs to the most recent computers. The next gen M1 chip is a huge step in the right direction for Apple, and I can't wait to see what comes of it in the new 2021 devices. I hope you learned something new today, or at least got a little more excited about taking next-gen technology with you to college. As always, you can stay updated here at CanLive for more tech news.